guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog hi how are you guys I'm just getting my skincare done I'm going to be running out the house in a couple minutes I am actually going to go visit Kim but today we actually have some other things to get done and there's this really big exciting thing that is happening today side note Put on your SPF even when it's cloudy. The sun still is out. We originally had plans to film something else, but we didn't end up. So I'm not going to wear makeup today. I'm just going to keep it clean, which is more than fine. Because I was going to have to take it off for my appointment anyways. So I've been into dental hygiene. I don't know why. It's like it's taken over my whole life. I don't know if this is what 30 looks like, even though I'm not even 30. I'm like heading towards it. But I'm in love with my water pick. I knew about it because my dad always used it growing up. So I was just like, I just know it's good for you. I've like started heavily flossing ever since like two years ago. And then I got this because I heard that this brand is just one of the best at just everything overall mouthwash. I also got tied in and got this. I've barely started using it, so I can't even say buy it, you guys, because I can't tell the difference right now. So until I know that, I will let you know. And this is the toothbrush that I use. I will leave everything down below if you guys are interested at all. This is an electric toothbrush. It's not gonna be like the best of the best, but it does vibrate and I like manually still scrubbing. So it gives me that effect and still gives me like a super deep clean. Honey. Kobe, honey, stop. <laughs> Where is he? He's right He's there. He's right there. are causing so much drama for no reason. Hi, I'm here with Petiti Princess. It's Petite Princess. I like Petiti. <laughs> Petiti, Petiti Princess. It's getting a no shot. Oh, imagine. No, BBL. I like that. I like, oh, that I do want. <laughs> Did but I will know, never do. Did you know that, um, you know you were telling me about a gastric sleeve? Yeah. Is that the thing where they tighten the stomach? Like cut off a piece of your stomach Is or that something. what Karina got? Yes. Okay. You put all care credit. Did you know? Sha! I was all care credit. And they said gastric sleeve. Well, you heard it here live, everybody. Get a gastric sleeve with your care credit, everybody. That's what? what I'm doing. I didn't know that. No way. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know. That's well, okay. shit. Your girl's not getting the astro sleep today. <laughs> I was like, damn. Damn. I know. I was like, when? That's cool. You learn something new every day. Anyways, I am getting braces. I have been thinking about this process for quite some time now. I had braces when I was in middle school, like everyone. I wore my retainer. I was really anal about it. I was so good with it. And then my wisdom teeth grew in. And once they were growing in, my retainers didn't fit. And it was a whole deal where my insurance covered half, like one side of my teeth and wouldn't cover the other side, which I have no idea why they even went about that. I told my dentist that I wanted to take them all out at the same time to make it easier for myself. But he he refused to. So then that caused a little bit of movement in my teeth. I know I have rather straight teeth. I know that if it was other people, they probably wouldn't go as far as to get braces, but I really like my teeth. And so there's a little bit of crookedness in my bottom. And then this tooth is pushed back and the alignment is just not as straight as it used to be. So that is why I'm getting braces. I'm going to Dr. Shu today, who is actually Kim's dentist. And he did her composite bonding a few what was that, a year ago or a few months yeah, ago? I was also between either composite or getting braces or Invisalign, but Invisalign ended up being a little bit too much and out of my budget, as well as it was gonna take like about a year or like, I think he said 10 to 12 months and braces, he said he could get me done as soon as three months, which is 90 days. So, but I think he said that the maximum time it would take is like six months. So it's actually going to fit right in before I turn 30. I'm gonna do hot pink and neon yellow. No, you're not, shut up. Shut up, shut it right now, shut up. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> what would you do if I did? I mean, honestly, we only, you're the only <coughs> young ones do it. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> We're you're going with silver. silver, it's silver only. White, silver? Ooh, not white, silver. God, I haven't braced it since ninth grade. Silver. Yeah, that's gonna be so fun, Mom. Oh gosh. I'm so excited for you. I don't you. know what it's gonna be Me? like. Dr. Shu just won. Oh my gosh, Dr. Shu just, just won. won. <laughs> You're gonna look so good. Jacqueline Hill just got hers off and she looks oh, great. I know, her teeth look great. Wow, a fountain. Where is she? Oh, <laughs> like where'd you go? Damn, you walk fast, girl. 
It's time. It's time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous, Mom. I'm not nervous for like the process. You're I'm just look sexy. Nervous about what I'm gonna look like. You look sexy. 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 Michelle, yeah, sexy. sexy. These are my teeth. And we were mostly talking about in the top, right? That we're doing top and bottom. Top and bottom. Uh -huh. Okay. Right there. You know what I didn't notice was this tooth here. You're in crossbite. Do you see this tooth right, like right here? Do you mm -hmm. see that one's in crossbite? Mm -hmm. So that might that might throw it off a little bit. Okay. Bite down. Um, that gets a little bit harder as far as like finishing on time. Okay, that's so fine. Okay, let me see how. Let me see your top. You can do it. Come on. Oh my god. No, let me see. I'm scared. No, let me see. Let me see. You look good. Come on. You're gonna have to show me a bunch. Wait, you look so cute. It's because you have big teeth, which is good. That's true. Yeah. Wait, no, they look fine. We go back into hiding. You look like Maya. Maya? <laughs> I'm dead. <gasps> I look like Anna. Anna has big teeth. <laughs> oh my god. They look really cool though. Whoa. Watch I out, love cool them. kid. I love them. You just need that bob cut. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen so yourself? Good. No, oh, yeah. I'll just wait. I'll oh, just wait. You wanna, I okay. wanna wait. I just want the. Can I see them day. again? Oh, they look so good. I love them. I'm gonna, He's have, to smiling. Get, I'm gonna have to get used to it. Does it feel weird? Yeah. Dirty. Yeah, I just wanna make sure it's pretty. Are you ready? Hang on, hang on. I'm sorry. So sorry, man. Okay. <laughs> you look um, good. You look good. You look good. <laughs> just flash back to like 2007. It's, it's giving major PTSD. It's giving but, 07. <laughs> but you look good. <gasps> oh, why are those yellow? What's yellow? Do those signify anything? Like the color of the bracket? Yes, the placement of where they go. Oh, oh, yeah. will those go away eventually? I think eventually it will. Oh, go. okay. It's just the color. Oh, color. my God. <laughs> I get the whole young thing. You look 10 years younger. Yeah, later. I get it now. Cool. I'm here to exchange the bed for something bigger. <laughs> Kim is returning. just returning because none of our pups fit. <laughs> Kim and I just got back from, oh my God, I can't talk. It is so weird to look at myself right now with braces. I like refuse to look at myself. It's a little hard to talk because my braces are hitting the skin and it's really sensitive because I haven't obviously had braces in so long. And she was telling me, the lady at the front desk was like, oh, it'll take some time to get used to. You'll create a little bit of scar tissue and then it'll be, it'll feel a little bit better. So they gave me some wax to put on I just remember when I was younger, I used wax once and it like, did, is it good, is it bad? Is it good, is it bad? Just kidding me. No. I just remember when I was younger, I used wax once and it was just a disaster. So I'm very careful about when and where I wanna use the wax. And because it's kind of like a whole situation, I'm not gonna stick wax from like beginning to end. The only thing I can do is get used to it and just not talk as much, but it just so happens to be that I'm with my best friend today. So all we do is talk. It's just gonna take some time getting used to. Carlos is cooking. He's making, um, originally it was supposed to be Milanesa, but we got him the wrong breadcrumb, so it's more like a chicken cutlet, but it is amazing. So and I was gonna make, it, I mean, uh, made him a sandwich tomorrow, so I'm actually taking some over there. We 
They offered. They offered. I did not yeah, steal it. We offered some chicken. But how amazing do they look? He did such a good job. They're so good. You're covered for tomorrow. I know. Guys, good morning. It is the next day. Clem and I are up. We got to sleep in. Sorry, the weird angle. I got home very late last night. I got home around like 3 o'clock, I think. I didn't get to bed around until like 5 in the morning, which is a very bad habit. But I, just, I naturally will not sleep if I allow it. Anyways, update on my teeth. I officially will be talking a little bit weird. I'm like feeling self-conscious in a way where I'm not feeling self-conscious, but I'm super grateful that I can even do this for myself. I am still getting used to the braces the brackets actually physically touching the inside of my mouth. So the issue that I had was it was not a good thing on my part. I got braces and I was with my best friend yesterday. So all we did was chit chat all freaking day. And so all freaking day, these brackets were like hitting my mouth. And the issue was that I was not willing to, I was like talking like my normal self. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't trying to protect my mouth and that really hurt me in the end because now I'm like extremely cut up inside and extremely swollen and sensitive. But that's on me, 1000% on me. So now I'm just gonna have to take it slow and this is how I'm gonna talk. And now, now this is life. And I cannot believe that this is life. I'm at Albertsons. I haven't been to Albertsons in a really long time because I've been shopping at Trader Joe's. But I have some stuff that I have to get that you can't get at Trader Joe's. So I'm here, let's go, let's go. I wonder if they've changed it some more because they've been remodeling for so long. My brother wants some goldfish. I'm about to get him the big one because I can't find, I hear a dog. I can't find the smaller ones. Now I wanna find the dog. You guys heard that, right? Wait, where are the damn goldfish? What the frick? Oh, wait, I think they moved it over here. Yeah, there we go. I am heating up the chicken cutlets in the air fryer. Thank God Carlos happened to be making chicken cutlets because I was supposed to make them today and it really saved me a lot of time. I put my brother on chopping duty. So he is chopping the lettuce super fine so that we can have it in our sandwiches. I don't think I mentioned what we're eating, but we're having a chicken Caesar salad sandwich. So I also took the bread from Kim and Carlos's. They were like, we're not gonna eat it. So you might as well take two, which thank you. Cause we really needed the chicken and the bread, even though I was gonna run to the grocery store. The only question is how am I gonna eat a sandwich? I'm not sure what's gonna happen to my mukbang days. It's okay. It's just my second day. I'm still getting used to my braces. It's fine. We just finished making our lunches. They look so good. So, so good. Shout out to my brother for chopping the lettuce and shout out to Carlos for making the chicken because that was amazing. And shout out to Kim for, for giving, us, giving us the bread. <laughs> I did nothing except for mix the salad. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. I hopefully I can get through it, man, and stay hungry because this might come to you. Oh, but we also have leftover salad. So I'm going to start with that because it's just easier to eat. But then I don't want to get full. Like I even, I don't know what to do. I'll eat my sandwich first. I'll eat my sandwich first. Oh, I don't want to take out my wax pieces though. Because they're going to hurt. They're gonna like hit the side of my mouth and I'm like physically not gonna be able to eat it. Mm. This dog is good. Yeah? It's a jet mode. Oh my god. Oh my god, my milk my career is over. You know what you should do? Mmm! It's so good! Yeah, it's really good. No, yeah, I'm on my second bite. It's been a few days since I last picked up my camera. It has been a couple days now. I think what, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, like two or three days. The braces are doing well. Update on them is the teeth are shifting. The shifting is not really hurting me. It's not really painful. I would say like pain being at a 10. I would say that the teeth physically shifting is probably like a three. It doesn't really hurt. It doesn't really bother me. The only time I really feel it is probably when I'm eating because I'm clearly using my teeth and the occasional time that I'm like putting my teeth together then I can feel that they're shifting. The only thing that I am adjusting to still is eating. Eating is extremely difficult. I don't know if it's because I just haven't gotten there yet because I've heard that the first week is the hardest. So I know once I pass this, I probably will get back to eating normally, but it's also like I only have races 
right here. So because they stop right here, taking bites and um, eating, like just chewing in general, my mouth is not that big. I don't have a very big mouth. I have big teeth. So it keeps hitting the sides of my lips and the inside of my mouth. So it's like extremely painful. It's just a lot. So the idea of eating is just not fun right now. It's just too much of like a tormenting process. So I've been avoiding eating. I've been eating lots of soft food so I don't have to chew as much. I made porridge a few days ago because I was like, at this point, I just, I can't I can't chew. I just need to swallow. So that's what I've been doing. I think today's the first day I feel really good to be able to eat. I think I'm going to make myself an American breakfast with my brother. I did want to talk about this. The first thing that I noticed after getting braces is one, I need a lot more wax. Braces has caused me to breathe out my mouth a lot more because I can't close my mouth anymore as well as I used to without like always getting bothered by it. This thing has saved my lips. Now hear me out. I am a die hard Carmex galley, okay? I have this shit literally laying everywhere, okay? But this thing, this thing, this is called Bag Bomb Skin Moisturizer. It essentially feels like Aquaphor. It's kind of like that, but I think 10 times better. This baby, I put it on and the next day, like I had flakes on my lips, you guys. Flakes on my lips. And next day it was gone. Go get yourself one. I linked it below. I also got Kim one. I just finished kind of putting together my room and it feels so much better now that I have everything where it needs to be. And I am slowly starting to realize that Clementine is starting to take over the room. This is her new bed. She absolutely loves it. I store my pajamas in there and one of her favorite toys. But then if you look over here, there's also another bed with toys. And then she has a house. She is slowly starting to take over. I need to be more disciplined and stop buying a bunch of stuff for her. I'm on my way to Target because I'm picking up an order. I'm going to the right Target these days. I don't know why I've been so hectic. I've been sending things to the wrong target and embarrassing myself, but I sent it to the right one this time. Hi, for Michelle. Yes. 